Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see installing applications in Virtual Machine Skill Set with Azure PowerShell. So, the Virtual Machine Skill Set that we created, I'm going to install applications on that using Azure PowerShell. So, let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. So, if you remember, this is my Virtual Machine Skill Set. Okay. So we know that we uh, to install to run applications on the virtual machine instances in a skill set, we first need to install the application components and the required files. We all know that how we create and uh, deploy the virtual machine skill set. Now what I will do is I will use the custom script extension the custom script extension download and execute script on azure vm the extension is useful for post deployment configuration software installation or any other configuration management task scripts can be downloaded from azure storage or github or provided to the azure portal at extension runtime the custom script extensions integrates with azure resource manager templates it can also be used with azure cli powershell and portal So I have, I already have the virtual machine skill set with the PNET, with the public IP and the upgrade policy set to automatic. So I'm going to use uh, the custom script extension. To install the definition uh, the application. Okay, now I will open up Notepad++ or any other editor that you want. In here, and I'm going to run one command in Azure Cloud Shell. Let me open up the Cloud Shell. It's stuck on requesting a cloud shell. I finally caught it. So I'm going to install the custom script extension. So let's see. And after running that command, I will apply the custom script extension. So this was the command, right? So hold on. This. This was the command. Now I will apply this custom script extension making these changes. So it is asking me to enter the resource group name, which is this. I'll update here as well. And it is asking me for the VM scale set name, which is this. Here here okay so first command is this so now using this i'm getting the information for the vm skill set here here enter done now the second command is add the custom script extension to install is and configure basic website so what i did in the next video i added this thing right so copy and paste which is wrong this way and now I will update the scale set okay Okay, oh, that is, I think it's the VM that is for the Linux. Hold on. Hold on. 
it says multiple already added on the specified in input let me check Script extension, extensions, add, it will not be here, right? Custom script extension, create, select a file, okay, so I would have to look for a file let me pause the video and come back so i'll save this file new 18 and i'll go here i'll browse the file or oh, it would be under storage account Okay, let me create a storage account then. Okay. It will create the storage account. This is created. I'm going to go, I'm going to create a container. I'm sorry, I should have done this before. I thought my it would work fine directly. I was wrong. Okay, upload is complete. Select. Okay. Now it's installing the extension. Let's see what it does. Perfect. Successfully installed the extension. I am going here. I'm going to restart my virtual machine skill set for this extension to be installed at uh, the time when the machine would be coming up. Okay, so it is in restarting the virtual machine skill set. Done. Now, it will, uh, each VM in the skill set would download and would run the script from GitHub uh, for which I have added the path, right? So in a more complex example, multiple application components and files could be installed. If the skill set is scaled up, the new VM instances, automatically apply the same custom script extension definition and install the required application. Now I have to allow traffic to the application because uh, the, the, this would be unavailable on HTTP. So now I will have to in create a network security rule in the network security group. So I would create a network security group and associate it with a rule. Hold on. We'll create, I will go to this VMSS, right? I'm sorry. This is the resource group. This is my virtual machine scale set. This is instances. This is networking. So I'll add an inbound rule here.
okay and this is the inbound rule i'll add an inbound rule here source would be any source would this port range would be any destination would be any service would be custom protocol would be tcp and the destination port range would be 80 name you can do port 80 priority 200 okay it will add a security rule here so this will add this so now you see this port 80 uh, rule is allowed now this is the network security group so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my virtual network, the one that I created. I'll go to the subnet. This is the default subnet. <clears throat> and I will attach the network security group here. Why is it not coming? It should, right? And did I created it mm -mm. test assert LB VMSS VNet okay it's under test assert LB VMSS VNet that's why I forgot to use the existing VNet and I created this Okay, this is the subnet default and I save it basic NSG test assert. So I'm going to make sure that this is the network security group in which I created port 80. All right, this is associated perfect and let if I want to test my load balancer now and if I go to my test load balancer and I do a public IP hit enter let's see what I see I should see a demo page here because of the custom script extension that I installed here. Let's see what I. It is not coming up. Not reachable. not reachable so this is my load balancer this is my front end IP configuration which is this so the load balancing rule is that front end would accept 80 back end port is also 80 TCP this looks okay port 80 is allowed from any source services TCP I would have to go with custom updating I will go to my virtual machine scale. Running. 
protocol is TCP. And let me check the service again. Service is again HTTP. Why? Custom. Doesn't make a difference at all because port 80 is HTTP. Health probe. Save. Mm -hmm. Let's see. And this is the configuration. I think the the custom script extension maybe is not correct that I installed. But the configuration is this, right? So you will create a resource group, virtual network. You will configure the load balancer. You will add a backend pool with virtual machine scale set nodes. You will define a health probe. You will define a load balancing rule. Then you will install the application. You can install application here on using DevOps pipeline as well. And then you will create an NSG rule to allow traffic onto the scale set. And that is how you will work. Okay, I hope this was informative for all of you guys. If you have any queries, please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.